So I'm going to attempt to show you how I break down one of these full shoulder primals. Okay, this is this is the spine right here. This is the front section of the rib cage. Ribs came down to here. This is your front leg, and if you look up here, this is where the head was. Okay, so this is what a shoulder primal looks like when I get it broken down. So now I'm gonna take this piece and break it down even further, okay? So, now, keep in mind, I'm not a professional butcher. I am a farmer and I butcher my own meat. So, I'm sure there's a professional butcher out there somewhere that's gonna say I'm doing this wrong and that's fine. Uh, if you guys run into his page and he's a professional butcher, somebody like Scott Ray, uh, by all means, do it the way he does it. Uh, this is not a how-to, this is a how I do, okay? That's, that's that. So what I'm doing here is I'm getting my thin boning knife up underneath this rib cage and I'm keeping it tucked up against the bone, okay? Uh, I want to get, I want to get this out, okay? Now I'm going to spin this around. I spin it around a lot. I don't know what you're supposed to do. That's what I do, okay? So now I'm going to take this all the way out to here. All this is going to come out. Bone right there. Okay, I'll keep spinning it around. These dinosaur bones that stick up off the back of the spine, I'm gonna get in under those here, like this. Straight down to the spine. See that, just kinda freed that up. Now, see if I can do this without blocking the camera. I'm taking this spine out here. I'm going to go in there with my bone and knife and just turn it down towards, towards the bottom of these ribs. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. This whole thing wants to come out. <clears throat> Actually, it doesn't want to. We're going to talk it into it. Remember, when you start to cut towards yourself, move yourself. Don't be, don't be going to the emergency room. Okay, I got something hanging me up right here. There it is. Trying to keep this pointing towards the camera if I can. Just freeing all that off the back of these. Now, I refer to this here as a spare rib. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm gonna cut that off with a saw in a minute, and I'm gonna keep that little section. The rest I'll throw away. All right, now, piggy here, get rid of that. Now I got some blood here. Uh, this is all, this is a wound from where we stuck it. So we're gonna wanna clean this up. I'm gonna switch knives. I don't, you know, I could get granular in there and save part of that, but I'm not going to. Okay, same thing here. Clean up. I don't like these arteries here. Make those go away.
Now, we're going to take this and we're going to divide it into the picnic and the Boston butt. Okay? Um, somewhere over the rainbow. No, I'm just kidding. Somewhere right about there is a joint. And above that is this crazy shoulder blade. I'm shooting for as close to that joint as I can, okay? And I'm just gonna guess that it's about right there. Man, I freaking nailed it. So if y'all see what's going on in there, I totally nailed that joint. I mean, couldn't have gotten couldn't have gotten closer. There you go. Now I don't want y'all to think that I hit it that good every time, because I don't but I'm glad I got it on film that time. So we're gonna set the picnic to the side for a minute. Okay, so this here, this is my butt. This is my Boston, okay? I'm gonna spend a minute here getting all the piggy hairs off of it, okay? Okay, that's pretty cleaned up right there. Uh, get as much of that pig, pig hair off of there as I can. Okay. And, uh, you know, I could tie that. Maybe I will. If I'm going to do that, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to score it, okay? So, the reason I'm scoring it is to help that fat render better when we cook it okay got that now there's always a possibility that I'm not tying a very good butcher knot Somebody's gonna comment on this about that. And that's cool. Like I said, I'm not a butcher. I've never been to a butchering school. I've never spent five minutes in a room in any kind of instructional fashion with a butcher. So, whatever, it's all good. I'll tell you who I'd like to spend about an hour in a room with and take some good notes is Scott Ray. Y'all should check him out. Uh, he's He's got it going on. I've definitely watched a few of his videos. I'm not going to say that I've learned anything from him because if by some chance he ever watches one of my videos, he may say, dude, don't ever say you learned that from me because I wouldn't want to put my name on that. <laughs> I don't know. But no, he seems like a cool dude. Cooler than that. Hey, jole. There it is again. Well, that one was almost done too. Maybe I just maybe I just yanked a little too hard. I don't know.
you know I might go one this way just just cause oh, somebody's somebody's about to message me why you're not supposed to go that way but again I don't I don't know I get to default to I'm not a butcher I didn't know tasted good when I was done And that, my friends, is what one of my, look at that, man, that, that right there, that's where your pork chop was, your, your loin, call it the money muscle when you're smoking a, a, a pork butt. That is ridiculous, and I got to get it cooled off in the freezer here. Okay, this guy here, this is the, uh, the lower half of the shoulder, <clears throat> and it includes the hawk, okay? So what I'm gonna attempt to do now is debone the upper half of this, which is the picnic, and, and I'm gonna follow this bone down until I find the joint that I want. That's where I'm gonna remove the hawk. I've seen this done both ways. I've seen them take the hawk off first, and I've seen them debone it until they find the joint and take the hawk off. I don't know which is right, uh, but I know that I gotta pick one, right? So uh, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just start deboning this and see what happens, all right? So I'm gonna get in here to this bone and just come on up, just like that. You know, if you're not really comfortable deboning something, I'd say don't try. <laughs> because if you get in a hurry and start really hacking away at it, that's when you're going to cut yourself. I feel like if I've had a long day at the office and I need to find a way to slow my brain down, for me, Trying to debone a piece like this is is a good solution because I'm looking at this and I've been cut by these knives, every single one of these, and I remember what they feel like. So I immediately slow down. As soon as I start to feel myself starting to get in a hurry, I'm like, no, man, don't get in a hurry. You're going to get cut. So I don't know. I think, I think for me, boning out a piece of meat is kind of almost therapeutic it calms me see like right now I got a hold of a tenon right here and if I get in a hurry that, that tenon doesn't cut very easy I got fingers all over the place here last thing I want to do is get a hold of one of them right so just slowing it down And again, I'm probably doing this all wrong, right? That's cool. If I am, I mean, whatever. When I'm done, there'll be a chunk of meat laying on the table. And, you know, we can debate whether or not it's going to taste any different because I did it the way I did it. I'm just not gonna be in a hurry, you know? Hell, I got all night. I got all night. All right, now I'm gonna evaluate where I'm at. Because I'm getting close to some kind of a joint there. 
So let's give ourselves a little more breathing room right here like that along the natural line of where I think that hawk's going to want to come off. Okay. I think I hear some connective tissue right there. I'll tell you one thing for sure. I'm not happy with how slippery these uh, Cutco knife handles are. Uh, I really like the steel. It's really high quality steel. I do like Cutco. I've got a lot of Cutco knives in the kitchen. That's why I went ahead and tried out these blades. Uh, I've got the Cutco butcher knife and Cutco boning knife and they're just slippery. I think what I'm going to do is get some of that rubber tool dip that you can dip your tools in and coat these things with it actually that's a pretty good idea I may do that okay get in there right about now is when you want to get anxious and you're like oh man that bone's almost out hurry up speed up get that thing out of there and boom you're in the ER getting some stitches Know what I'm saying? Just nice and nice and easy. I'm there. I just got to find out which ligaments are holding that thing in the socket and find and, and get them separated. I don't know if y'all can see what I'm getting after there. That bone's in a joint, and then there's ligaments holding it in the joint. And I'm trying to get the point of my boning knife down into that joint and find those ligaments that are connecting it and make them not, not connecting it anymore. See that? See what's going on in there? like that I'm gonna use that to make a ramen soup okay so I got my hawk right here boned out okay uh, I got this funny bone that sticks off the back up into there there's a bone that comes all the way back here can't cut a straight line here all right so I'm gonna get underneath here like this and I'm gonna leave all that on my picnic and then I'm gonna come around here and I'm gonna follow that bone it goes up like that when I get to the top of it I'm just gonna come right around it because I want as much on my picnic as I can There's my hawk right there, okay? I'm gonna cure that and smoke it and put it in something delicious. All right, so there's a picnic that's boned out, okay? Uh, let's take a look at what it looks like on the inside, what needs cleaned up. Oops, left a little bit of bone right there where that hawk was. It's like a cartilage right there. 
I don't want somebody biting into that. All right, folks, a couple things we can do with this. Okay, we can trim this up. We can roll it together. We can tie it. We can make a picnic roast out of this. Or, since I already have one picnic and two pork butts in the freezer, we can turn all this into sausage. This right here is the perfect ratio of fat to protein, this shoulder. This is sausage, okay? So, what I'm gonna do is go ahead, that's probably about seven, eight pounds. I'm gonna make eight pounds of sausage out of that. Boom. You know, I don't like to waste any part of this. Some people toss this section out. Um, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna take my handy saw right here and I'm gonna cut it. like that. where those arteries dive in between the ribs. We're gonna cut that out, those little little pieces of artery out. Get rid of all that unsightliness to some people. Not unsightly to me, I don't care. And there you go. That's a whole nother couple of ribs right there that we're gonna go in the garbage, you know? Uh, that's one, two, three. That's three and a half ribs right there with some nice meat between them. Bleach.